Hey everybody, welcome back to the Time Sticking YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the popular film John Wick 3 and the relationship it has with wristwatches. We might be touching a little bit more specifically on the featured brand, so stay tuned. After this intro, we'll be discussing it a little bit further. As a blockbuster sensation, the John Wick franchise has done a wonderful job of introducing a lot of men's fashion to a wide audience. Aside from the suits, there are also some fantastic wristwatches featured in these films. John Wick 3 is no exception. The film opens with John trying to outrun a ticking clock. The brooding gun-toning assassin has exactly one hour before a large international bounty is placed on his head. As he's in this hurry to outrun the clock, he's sporting a Monero auto date by Carl F. Bucher. It's a sleek, minimalist timepiece that slips quite well under his suit coat. It features a black alligator leather band, silver and white dial, and an anti-reflective sapphire crystal. So as John's trying to stay alive, he's running, and his running is actually keeping the automatic 25 joule Swiss movement powered on his wrist. It's really a sort of irony that they placed on screen that as he's running for his life, John is also effectively running his wristwatch. Throughout the film, it's very easy to see that Carl F. Bucherer is the featured wristwatch of the brand. In one of the key scenes in the film, John is actually jujitsu fighting in a very large windowed building. Because the windows leave an exposed exterior, you can actually see a building across the street advertising the Carl F. Bucherer watches as he's doing some of his most stylish moves in the film. John Wick's Monero Auto Date is a really well-featured watch in the film. Just like how James Bond used to rock a Rolex Submariner, John's wrist watch is very stylish, adds to his sort of hero mystique, and also functions really well in the plot as a plot device to show the ticking of time in the beginning of the film. Carl F. Bucherer also had an affiliation with the second John Wick film. As a really good sort of act of branding, the company has aligned itself with this franchise and done a great job of featuring their very well-designed and manufactured wristwatches on screen. In the big windowed room that I mentioned, as John is pulling off his moves, throwing blades and dodging hits, there's a constant stream of Carl F. Bucherer watch images that are rolling in the background. The company itself has done a really good job of featuring dive watches as well as their other featured wrist watches on that advertisement in the film. It's a really clever bit of marketing on Carl F. Bucherer's part that they were able to implement their brand so well into a very popular film franchise. Now, here at Times Ticking, we might not necessarily condone wearing your high-end wrist watch while doing jujitsu. However, if you manage to break one of their sapphire crystals in the process or need any mechanical repair, we can always have a look at it for you and see what we can do for you in the future. Hello, and thanks for watching our YouTube video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and you can find similar videos right here. For more new and interesting content from Time Sticking on our channel, please subscribe at the link here. And for more information about wristwatch repair and watch maintenance generally, you can find us at timesticking.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.